Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's a video you all been wanting for a while. So I, uh, you know, it's about time we build Cinema Men, or as the fans call them, Titan TV Men, from Skibbity Toilet. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna make him. His screen's gonna go red, and yeah, maybe we can make it do something. So, we're gonna start with the uh, boots. Or, you know what? Let's save a lot of time. All right. So for this tutorial, we're actually going to use the bottom half of giant speaker man so go back to the giant speaker man video follow the tutorial up until the waist and we'll start from there all right now that we have just the waist we can start building titan tv man also let me guys let me know what you thought of skibby toilets 47 the new one bro bro titan tv man didn't deserve that bro bro he, he had, but honestly he had it coming though all right so we are going to build it in the a like slightly blackish color like that color right there we're going to line out the waist And we're going to do that. Yes, just make a line around the waist. Like that. Now we color it in. Okay, so also using Speaker Man's bottom half will guarantee that they will be canonically sized. So their size will actually be accurate so that you can actually fight them together with corrupted Speaker Man. So that'll be pretty sick. So we're going to scale them. Uh, you can see my increments right here, so you know exactly where to scale. So we need to scale until we get to about 220. Now we just scale it up like this. And if you don't have a skill tool, that is 10 blocks. So just build 10 blocks up. So we just uh, do this. Yep, so anytime you see... Basically, whenever I use scale tool, just divide this number right here by two, divide all the numbers by two, and that's how many blocks it is. So for example, 10, 10 scale is five blocks tall, because each, each block is two increments tall. So that's just how it works in build a bit. So you can use that as knowledge. We are just using this so we can see what we are doing. So now we're gonna color it black. All right, so he appears to have some like armor plating on his stomach so we are going to do that real quick we are going to do the armor plating right now so just get up to here so the armor plating begins here we're just going to duplicate it like that now we do this and we are going to paint it like like that color that and now we duplicate it oh whoops i just unselected everything my bad but we just can duplicate it like up like that yeah and then again like that okay now we can build the chest so his chest goes out a bit and we're gonna build the massive core that he has uh, the core reactor iron man style so just gonna place a few blocks along here oops Oh, keep falling off. Okay. Uh, hold, hold on. I can't see what I am doing. It's it's so dark. Okay. Yep. There we go. Now it go. We are gonna make it go out a little bit more after that. So we're gonna do this. Yeah, like that. And now we do that. Now we're going to scale all of these up. Yep, and then we will be done the chest. So then we can do the core and the head from there. Yep. We're just going to make a giant part piece right here, I guess. Yeah. All right, there we go. So we have the torso. Now we're gonna make his giant TV head. So we're gonna place a big piece along here. Now we make a small neck. All right, now for his massive, actually we're gonna do the core first. How about that? We, so the core is pretty big. It's like, like yeah, around that size there. It's, it's actually more on his stomach than his chest. So we're gonna put it, we're gonna move it down a bit. So it is like a, uh, 
not really a circle. It's more like a pentagon of some sort. So we're just going to do that. And we build down like this. Yeah, actually, let's make it a little bit wider because it needs to. Yeah. So build it out here. No, not there. There we go. Now we it comes like out a bit like this. All right, sweet. Like that. There we go. Okay, now we do the neon part. Yeah, right here, like this. Yep. Yeah. And it's so bright. And now we're gonna color it. Um, it's more like a, it's like a bluish purple, like that. Hold on, I need a little bit more blue. A bit more blue. Okay. But a bit. The neon sucks with colors. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well. <laughs> Hi, Zero. My bad, y'all. I had to talk to Zero because he's uh, notorious for doing really strange things. So we are going to start. So TV's men head is very simple. We we, we probably should paint this, actually. <laughs> should probably paint this. Uh, we're going to add, like, a grayish kind of like that. Yep. Like that. Okay. Yep. Now we are going to make his yeah, massive head. So we are just going to scale a block. We're going to put a block here. We are going to scale it out like this. Yep. So that is 11 blocks out. Um, then you build about... That's four blocks that way. And then one block that way. Actually, it's going to be more forward. So let's do one block that way. Minus one block that way. Yep, so this is the base for the head. Now we build their outer rims so it's going to be around 15 four that's eight i'm tripping i'm not good at math that's like seven blocks tall i think i'm not good at quick math yeah around seven blocks tall and we do the uh the top part here and then we do that then we do that Yep, then we scale it up two by one block, so that should be two blocks that way. Okay, yep, now we are going to do the the static part. So static is going to be, we're going to do white, you know, like a dim grayish, like that. And we just add like some, I guess like, no, nah, I, I guess that will work. So that's good for TV, man. And then we are gonna make the uh, the red part where he like actually does like he kills the skibby toilets with. So we actually need to make him a little bit wider though, because he's really thin right now. So we're gonna add a block here. We're gonna go out by th three blocks, not two and a half. We're gonna scale it down uh, ten blocks, and we're gonna scale it this way, just to give him more bulk because he's he was thin before and we just do it on the other side like that and we should yep that's better okay now we are going to the part where he uh makes all the screen go red so we're going to get we're going to turn off turn off anchor to make sure it works it's very cramped in here i'm just going to move this out the way part uh temporarily so we're going to put a piston here and we are going to unbind it wait why is there oh i should probably get rid of these because th those were speaker man so hold on Okay, so now we are going to get neon, and we are going to fill this area in, but don't make it touch the edge, so just like slightly, just like, pull it back, and then we do this, yep, so it shouldn't be touching the edge, so it should be just kind of like, sitting yeah, it looks good. So now if we push it forward, the screen is going to go out. Now, as you can see, it goes out way too much. So we're going to get our screwdriver tool, and we're going to make it go... Let's try five. Yeah, five is about right. So now we put it back in. We put the screen back into TV Man. So now if we... 
we're gonna pull it back a little bit more so now if we flip the lever his screen will turn red and we probably need to make it cover a little bit more ground so what we're gonna do set scale to 0 0.4 and scale each side out by about one this should cover as much distance as possible without there we go okay yeah that should do yeah it's red enough actually or we could just make this screen black like or like darker in general yeah like that so it's not as visible yeah there we go so that still works and then when you do it he the screen will turn red yep sweet all right well, that works so now we're going to do the uh the arms and then the actually just do the the blades at the back because he's got some gnarly blades at the back they're going to be just like for purely for design not really functional it'll be possible to make them functional i'll probably do another video on that later if you guys really want it i can make them like come forward it's pretty simple to do actually all right so we're going to make them and we're just going to duplicate them a whole lot and yeah like that and then we're gonna add the purple glow that they have on the edges yeah like this yep and now we get purple then we color them black like this and we duplicate them three times so one and two oh hey what happened to there hold on I'm going to make the back more structural because I think it goes, yeah, it goes in a bit. So I'm going to scale this part out just a bit like that. Now we should be able to duplicate the, oh, the final thing. Get this and we duplicate it one more time. There you go. Oh, what do you, what do you mean by that? Hold on. Hold on. What do you mean? What is happening? Is this part? Why are they falling? That part. All right, I'm gonna scale that out one more because this is very sensitive apparently. I'm just gonna get up. Hold on. Oh my! Hold on, guys. Okay, I think it's just my bad. I I was actually so when I did this to clone it, I was selecting the entire thing. So yeah, we just gotta select these two blocks and then we can clone it. My bad, guys. My bad. My bad. <laughs> okay, so we are going to now. Um, we're gonna do this, and we gonna select. Make sure to select these ones at the back, at the bottom. Yeah, you know, like that. And now we duplicate it on the other side. You know, just like, hold on. Uh, that. There we go. So now we have the back things. Okay, so now we are going to do the his arms and then the cloak and then he'll be finished and we're gonna add spikes we're gonna make sure to add spot what is that we're gonna add spikes on here maybe actually if we can fit them i don't know we'll add spikes somewhere so we can actually fight people and you know destroy everything so we are going to start off with the arms here now we hold on who's messaging me whatever okay I'm gonna do this hold on delete that Oh, okay, turn anchor blocks on. Okay, anchor blocks is on, so that won't happen again, hopefully. Now we are going to start with the arm. Like this, yep. We can just do like a tube arm, because, you know, we don't really need to do anything crazy. Also, from the image, it looks like he has some kind of like shoulder padding or something like that. I don't know. Eh, whatever. Okay, so we are going to scale the lower arm down to about here so that is oh i still have it on zero point four my bad that is about eight yeah eight blocks so we're gonna scale it down here like that and like that yep just like this There we go. Now we do the lower arm. Yeah, his arms are very thick. He's like, he's like a 
very buff Titan TV. Yep, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna make him a little bit thinner. And we're gonna make sure we can duplicate these so we don't have to build it again. Yep, so we're gonna make it very easy to duplicate. So we're gonna make this a little bit thinner. Like that, and then we scale it down to the uh, waist, like that. So that is uh, nine blocks down. All right, now we do the hand. So we are gonna do the, we do a very simple hand like we did with Speaker Man. So we just do, we're just doing like a mitten hand. So it's gonna make it go down a bit. It's gonna come in. Then we add a thumb like th a thumb like that. And now we are going to make the, oh, whoa, geez, hold on. All right, we're gonna make this part like fade into the arm so it looks a bit better. Like this. Yep. Alright. Now we are going to do the. Uh, he has like the uh, propellers on the side of his arm. For some reason. I don't know. <laughs> so we're just going to do that. Okay. So the propellers are going to go out like this and they are going to be thin. Yep. So that is 12 blocks yeah i'm gonna make it 12 blocks um there we go okay we paint all of it black yep Now, if you want the mech to be stronger, I recommend not using a scale tool because then your mech is just gonna be uh, it's gonna be fall apart. Kind of. What are you loading your mech? Whatever. I think he wants to fight me with his super advanced mech. That's not gonna happen. Jeez. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we are going to. Oh, uh, we should probably <laughs> duplicate it first. Hold on. Um, we're gonna delete that. Okay, we are going to do this, and we duplicate this like that, and we. Move it to the other side. We rotate it. If you don't have this tool, you can just rebuild the arm, but on that on the other side. Okay, now we uh, move it closer like that. Okay, now we reposition the thumb. Where are the th where's the thumb? There's the thumb. Get our thumb there. Color these bits. I don't know why they aren't recolored. Okay, now we do the joint. So the arms are going to go outward. Yep, so we can sw really swing at people. Put the hinges there. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to do a better joint system. So we are going to connect the hinges to the main body like this to the back parts here. Yep, and we, you can make it invisible if you have the screwdriver tool, but I won't bother. And now we join this bit so we're gonna do a hinge here hold on where are they? a hinge right there like this yep and now we do the same thing get some rods and join it to the body like that yep and now we should be good so now we have to add these spikes. So this is going to allow our mech to really do some damage. Now, also I would recommend making these bits, hold on. I would recommend probably making these um, probably collision off because your arm needs to bend and all that. So you are, we're gonna do that, hold on a minute. Oh well, okay, yep, do that. Now we going to add the spikes. So we add spikes all up here like this. Yep. Make them invisible. We're going to add some spikes on the chest for ramming into people. Yep. 
And we're gonna add some spikes on the TV itself. All right, this guy is battle ready. I'm probably going to lose to his giant robot, but we are with this. We're, we're just gonna test TV man for a sec. So now we put a let's do a pilot seat, and we are gonna do this. Put it like somewhere. Hold on. Let's put it like at the back right there. Oh, I've got to put another one down. Okay, so now we are going to bind the piston. So pull a Z. So if you, when you hold down X, he's going to go into rage mode and he's going to do like the uh, whole red anger thing. All right, so now we want to save it. So where's Speaker Man? Speaker Man is no more. Your TV man now. Okay, so that is the end of tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, a good idea is to probably connect the arms because uh, I uh, I kind of forgot to do that. Hold on. All right, he's ready to fight. I'm gonna fight him off screen and I'll tell you how. It... Actually, no, I'm gonna fight him on screen. Why not? Okay, so just add a jet to your your guy so he's just ready. Okay, go. All right, we are ready to fight. Yes. Yeah, look at Titan TV man. But let me get the thumbnail shot. Alright, he said I'm gonna get destroyed. Yeah, but I have TV man, so yeah, I'm just that cool. Okay, so we're gonna go from behind. Hold on. Gotta get behind him. Whoa. Okay, he's, he's going kinda nuts. Hold on. Okay, we got we got a good hit. We got oh we took some damage there. Okay, we are missing an arm. Okay, this is not good. Hold on. Oh, dodge. I'm gonna kick him. Oh my god! He puts he's he's put like spikes all over his mech. Hey guys, if you want your TV man to be overpowered, I think you wanna get rid of the scale and also put more spikes on him because he needs to destroy people. And also I put my pilot seat in a really bad spot. I would recommend putting him in the waist so that when you get sliced on the chest, you don't like kind of fail. So if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. And, uh, yeah, that's Titan TV, man. I am going to make some improvements. And I'm going to destroy Zero. And I'm going to laugh at him. <laughs> okay, bye.